Welcome once more great and lovely people of Biafra and as usual we are here to bring you credible informations on what is going on in Biafra territory as regards the Woto Woto. The Woto Woto. Remember this is your foremost uh, channel that brings you the best of information as regards current happenings in Biafra territory. Um, information reaching us is that there has been serious woto woto in um, Bakasi Peninsula and uh, the zoo um, chief of defense staff has been advising his soldiers to be careful of the Biafra Liberation Army stating that there has been minefield in many areas and they have to be very careful to avoid being blown up. The question now is can you now tell your people how many of them have encountered this mines field in Biafra land? He will not tell you because they want their propaganda to continue. They will not want to tell you the reality on ground. It is only propaganda that they want to push forward. They want to push propaganda to tell you that they are in charge, whereas they are not. They are afraid. They are jittery. And that is why they will come out every time to continue to advise their soldiers, to continue to say one thing or the other, to continue to seek for international help. But they will not get because they have violated so many international treaties, laws and everything. So they are in debt internationally. So the, these two informations that I've brought to you today, we shall explain what and what happened. But before them, I want you to listen to the PM Simon Eba on what he said. I will be here to fight because freedom is not coming from Nigeria. Freedom is coming from abroad. Freedom is coming from the United Nations. Freedom is coming from Washington, D.C. Freedom is coming from the European Union. Freedom is not coming from Africa. Freedom is not coming from Nigeria. Freedom is not coming from Abuja. Freedom is coming from America. It's coming from Europe. You don't know that, know it. No matter how sad and bad it sounds. But that is a fact. So why should I go to Nigeria where freedom is not coming from? It's coming from here. I will be here. The Afra freedom will come from diaspora. I promised them for many years, for since 2021, that I will bring the Biafra freedom from diaspora. I want you to look around yourself. Is it not coming from diaspora? They thought they have locked everywhere. If you go to Nigeria, they kill you. If you do, they will talk, they will challenge you. Come to Nigeria, so we will take you serious. Come to Nigeria. Because I will not come to Nigeria. If you want to die, go and put yourself on order. War order. I will not come to Nigeria. I will be here to fight for my people and I will be here and free my people from Nigeria. When Queen Elizabeth was controlling you I, in, in, in Nigeria and doing amalgamation, was she there? Was she there? Queen Elizabeth the same on Nugat. Was she there? I will do like her. I will be here and free Biafra and then I will come to unify Biafra people after Biafra has been recognized. I will be here to fight because freedom is not coming from Nigeria. Freedom is coming from abroad. Freedom is coming from the United Nations. Freedom is coming from Washington, D.C. Freedom is coming from the European Union. Freedom is not coming from Africa. Freedom is not coming from Nigeria. Freedom is not coming from Abuja. Freedom is coming from America. It's coming from Europe. You don't know that, know it. No matter how sad and bad it sounds. But that is a fact. So why should I go to Nigeria where freedom is not coming from? It's coming from here. Thank you very much. Now you have heard from the Prime Minister himself. This is just a message for people who continue to say, come back, come back to Nigeria, come back to Nigeria, come back to Nigeria, come and do what in Nigeria, where freedom is gotten from America and the United Nations and all that. You are asking him to come back, come back to Nigeria to do what? <laughs> you people are not serious. Uh, we are now going into the discussion for the day. Mm, sit tight and listen to the commander in chief, the chief of defense staff. Listen to him. Your men step on any of these mines, the vehicle in it is destroyed, all the occupants are dead. Now, how do you stop that? Because of these IEDs, you dare not speed up to go there. If you do that and you step on any minefield, you are gone. Now, you are listening to the chief of defense staff. Christopher 
Gwabin Musa. The question you would now ask this man is, those who have experienced this minefield, why is it not on the news? <laughs> or have you heard it in the news? Why is it not on the news? Those who have experienced this minefield, for you to know that there are minefields in Biafra territory, for you to know that there are IEDs in Biafra territory, you must have experienced, some persons must have experienced those minefields. So, why is it not on the mainstream media? Why is it not there? You see, these people will continue to cover their atrocities and continue to cover their defeats. You are not going to hear about it. Except we tell you that this is what is happening. That is why sometimes when we bring information here, some people will come out to say, eh, it is fake, eh, it is lie, eh, it is this, it is that. You are not even uh, 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 thinking properly enough because if you are a critical thinker, you are going to ask questions as to why the chief of defense staff is making some comments, certain comments. The other time he said they are fighting asymmetric warfare in Biafra territory. You ask him, why are you, what kind of, why are you fighting that asymmetric warfare and where are you fighting it? You never ask the question. You never ask him, why is it not on this mainstream media? This warfare you are fighting, why is it not on the mainstream media? You never ask him. He makes certain comments. He makes certain... You never ask this man, what is really happening? Where are the soldiers that are facing this, you know, uh, passing through this asymmetric warfare? You never ask him that question. Now he has come out to tell you that you must not be fast, you must not speed up, you must go slowly so that you don't uh, 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 encounter IET, so that you don't encounter mines. That if you encounter those mines that everyone will be blown up. Why is he saying that? He's saying that because some persons, some of his soldiers have encountered minefields in Biafra territory. So the question is, why is it not on the news? They will not tell you. They will hide it. But we are going to tell you what is happening. And that is what we are doing. Now, to the next news. To the next news. The Biafra Navy have decimated uh, the BIR, known as uh, the Day Intervention Battalion uh, of Cameroon. You know, they returned, I think, two days back or a day back to Abana territory because they have been dislodged by the Biafra Navy. And so they came back two days back. And we were wondering, why are these people back? Are they not afraid? Why are they back? You know, these people are zombies. Their politicians will say, go, and they will move. When even they know that they cannot survive that area, they will move. And so they came back to Abana territory, and then... They were being monitored by the Biafra Navy to understand what really they are doing there. All of a sudden, they were now guiding, you know, two foreign vessels. Two foreign vessels that came to pick, you know, crude. And immediately, the Biafra Navy discovered, okay, this is what the people came to do. They, they immediately launched a very serious, you know, resistance against them and people began to hear blasts bomb blasts after this it was discovered that over 13 BIR Cameroonian soldiers were died in that process they came they came to guide foreign vessels that came to steal our crude that is what they came to do and they were decimated they were quiet. Many of them were quiet. And the battle in Bakasi is still ongoing. The place is hot. And you are advised to be careful while moving around those areas. That is the news currently. We will keep you updated of any, you know, recent information coming out. But for now, this is what 
is happening in Bakasi. Thank you for listening. Biafra first. <laughs>